My name is Michelle Vaughn. I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Curriculum, Culture, and Educational Inquiry in the College of Education. So with distance learning and myself, um, I started here at FAU about six years ago. Um, and I, when I started, we were interested in putting our master's program for curriculum instruction online. So previously, I had worked at Florida Virtual School, where I did a lot of the curriculum management and put some of their courses online. So um, I was tapped to kind of lead the charge there. And in the past six years, I've worked very closely with the Center for E-Learning, getting all of our courses fully online and putting them in a cohesive program plan and building out areas of specialization, sending a number of our courses through QM, and now redesigning some of the courses um, that were done a while ago to for our online master's program. Um, so that's really been my role as in a relationship with Center for E-Learning. And then here in the College of Education, I've taken on a leadership role in helping to answer questions about distance education, kind of support professors as they work on their own online pedagogy and what that looks like and how it feels to transition from a face-to-face -face course to an online course and um, how to navigate some of those tricky questions about you know, being able to engage in authentic dialogue and being able to connect with students in a meaningful way. In order to get to a place where our online course delivery is of its highest quality, I think we really have to look at how we are both professionally developing our faculty members, and then also preparing our students for the online experience. So, you know, there's two roles in, in the actual course delivery, and then you've got, you know, this third role of instructional designer who is building the courses. But each of those roles needs to really continue to have expectations delivered to them. So from a faculty perspective, I think it's really important to understand how we shift our practice online and what online teaching looks like and also what it doesn't look like because I think sometimes we naturally think that whatever we do in a classroom is going to translate to a computer and it doesn't it doesn't work that way and it really takes some serious reflecting on your practice to figure out what tools you should use and what adjustments you need to make in order to meet your students needs and from the student perspective I think we can continue to work with them on developing expectations about how to engage in an online course what things they need to do um, how they are you know how they can respond with their peers how they can connect with their peers how they can reach out to their professor because how you engage in that virtual environment has implications far beyond your experience here at FAU. You know, in, in the workforce today, engaging in a virtual environment is a skill set that you know, every, every learner and needs to have as they move forward. So I think as we continue to do professional development, we can look at the various roles and see how we can support them in that way. I think e-learning is important to FAU students and every student really because it's certainly not going anywhere. So it is an opportunity for access, it is an opportunity to be exposed to people, places and things that you might not be exposed to in a traditional you know, brick and mortar classroom. Um, it's an opportunity for connection and it's an opportunity to build those technological skills um, that you need for the next phase of your life. So, E-learning is really a field of opportunity. What we do with it is really up to us, but the opportunities are endless, and I think with the direction and with the support we're going um, with here at FAU and with the Center for E-Learning, I really see us highly focused on delivering quality e-learning experiences, and I think that will translate um, for both the students and the faculty members to a brighter future.